Welcome to the World Trade Webcast. I'm Greg Sandler, president of Think Global Inc. This week on the World Trade Webcast, we're talking in more detail about the new Export Screening Lists app, now available from the Apple App Store and the Google Play Store for Android devices. The new app features the Consolidated Export Screening List, which helps verify potential parties to regulated U.S. transactions. The app includes data from nine export screening lists. Today, our focus is on the Non-Proliferation Sanctions List, which is maintained by the U.S. State Department. The Non-Proliferation Sanctions List includes parties that have been sanctioned under various U.S. government statutes. The United States imposes sanctions under various legal authorities against foreign individuals, private entities, and governments that engage in proliferation activities. Announcements of such sanction determinations are printed in the Federal Register and can be found online on the Government Printing Office webpage. For example, the Iran, North Korea, and Syria Non-Proliferation Act authorizes the United States to impose sanctions against foreign individuals, private entities, and governments that engage in proliferation activities, such as the transfer to or acquisition from North Korea of equipment and technology controlled under multilateral control lists. It also provides for sanctions for the transfer of equipment or technology having the potential to make a material contribution to the development of weapons of mass destruction or cruise or ballistic missile systems. The Bureau of International Security and Nonproliferation is responsible for leading efforts to implement the Iran, North Korea, and Syria Nonproliferation Act, which provides for penalties on entities and individuals for the transfer to or acquisition of controlled equipment and or technology from Iran, North Korea, and Syria. The Federal Register notices are the official notifications for all nonproliferation sanctions determinations. More detailed information about the nonproliferation sanctions list is available on the State Department's website. To use the app, simply filter by the list you want to search. In this case, you would filter for the nonproliferation sanctions list. You can also filter the results by country. Think Global updates each of the nine screening lists once a day when information is available. But there can be a time lag of up to one day between the time a source has updated a screening list and when that update appears in the app. Think Global relies on government data and is not responsible for errors or omissions in the data. The data is presented as is, and users should perform their own due diligence as required by law. The Export Screening Lists app is available from Apple's App Store and from the Google Play Store for Android devices. Download it now and let us know what you think. In the meantime, please join us again on Monday as we continue our review of the nine lists that are part of the Export Screening Lists app. And for our latest schedule of upcoming Think Global webcasts, subscribe to us with any of the links below and bookmark this page. All of our previous episodes can be found online at thinkglobal.com webcast. And thanks for watching.